Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Rune Build. Today we are back in our little gypsy camp, uh, not for long. Um, well, we're, we'll be here for a little bit, but I have some, we're not doing anything here. We're done building here for, uh, at least a while now. Um, we need to update this and by update, I mean, this is updated. Um, we need two more maps. So let's find some, or just find an empty map that works. Uh, and then <coughs> I need some paper. Also, I'm still sick. But, ooh, ooh, ooh paper and iron do we have any uh where did i put oh everything is packed up because we will be leaving here in a short bit but we need some of this here stuff we need um <laughs> ugh it's not uh let's see four and got some stuff up here i you know what I hate the most about like seasonal changes is the uh how, okay how this is scaling one to one one to one cool I hate having seasonal changes because that's when like my sinuses are the worst and I only get sinus issues during the changing seasons that's the only time, really. I don't get affected by, like, pollen count, crazy amounts, or anything like that. Um, okay, let's see. We need to go <coughs> up here. Um, so now I've got, like, a whole bunch of drainage and stuff in my throat. And it's not a pleasant time. Um, and boop. And keep walking just a little bit. Fill it out. Okay, good. Oh, there's my phone. Looks like Emma has made it safe and sound. Uh, let's go with this. And we need to go over here and get this area all <clears throat> looked at. God, this is terrible. Um, and then probably right here. And yeah. Okay, so let's uh, go a little further, a little further. Just because it irks me when the entire map is not filled. Okay. Now we should have the entire gypsy camp mapped. Also, oh, there's lava over there. I was like, what is that giant red pool? Um, but yeah, so besides this, this is just a random thing. I saw we had some maps and I wanted to... Oh, I don't think we have enough item frames. Uh, okay, we'll see. We'll have to see if we have enough item frames. I know we've got two. Um, and we can do those really quick. Uh, so that one goes there, and then this one goes uh, here. So that's what we have. And then we'll have two to complete it. And then it'll be good. Um, let me get item frames, and I'll be back so we can finish that up real quick. All right. That hurt. Okay. So got, the, got some leather. Um, should be good. Make sure there's nothing around me. Don't think so. Haven't had any issues there. Uh, and this is, yeah, this is right there. And then this is right there. And there we go. There's our gypsy camp. And what's nice is it's not like crazy exposed or anything. Like it, it doesn't look, I like how you can see the path. Eventually we can have it like connect out to over here. Um, I think that's really cool. But you can see the dock. You can see like the big tent. Um, and you can see that it extends all the way out here. And it even goes all the way around in here i think right in here <laughs> and so it's a good sized area and i really like this this area i really like what this looks like so i'm really happy with how this has turned out i think this is really nice really nice achievement all right so now what are we getting into today well i have some things to show you and uh i think they are probably better suited in the creative world. So let's go over there. Okay, single player, brew labs. Now, uh, <coughs> you're going to have to prepare yourself for this because I have done some texture pack work. And uh, I hope you're ready. I am. I'm ready. So, I have taken a lot of inspiration from Jermsey. I've also taken just a lot of Jermsey's stuff 
and put it into our pack. Uh, altered a few things as well, made stuff our own. Um, so just with that, keep in mind, I have added some more texture variation stuff going on again um, in the planks um, and been doing some stuff with uh, andesite. So as you can see, we have the crates are back to normal with our three variations, and I think they look perfectly dandy. Also, these are back to normal. The lidded version is, uh, I think, 50% of the time, and then these are, actually, that's great. That's like exactly what it is, 50% of the time, and then these are like a, 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 a I don't know, a third of a 50% of 50 chance. Now, one of the big things that you're going to see changed is let's go over here to um, we'll go to here because this is pretty big. I've changed our door and I don't know if you're going to like it. I'll change planks. We'll get to that. This is something Jermsey made uh, and it's a it's a custom model and it's a different oak door. The reason I went with this is I just liked it more, I guess. Um, I don't know. I liked it more than our current one. Our current one's not bad or anything. Don't get me wrong. But I just liked his version more. I'm not exactly sure why. If you guys like the original Oak Door, I'm totally fine. Like, I don't dislike that or anything. I totally fine with that i like it just as well um so perfectly fine going back to that um and as you can see here added variation to our oak planks now they look honestly way better it's got some dark planks occasionally dark plank there it's got uh, gotten rid of some of the uh <coughs> kind of it's no longer like highlighting in the center it's highlighting at the top and dark at the bottom so it's got a little bit more um I don't know. It's less bubbly feeling, in my opinion. It doesn't feel quite as bubbly. Uh, fences are now smooth as well. Uh, they don't go perfectly, but I don't think it matters too much. Um, and what else? What else? Uh, okay, so this, <clears throat> some of the things that I've got to show you, uh, I also want your opinion on are the planks because this is Jermsey's, um plank texture and it's what I've based a lot of this off of um, I added in the dark planks because I like that in B-dubs pack I don't really think he has too much of that going on but this is flatter it's a flatter feel uh, it's probably easier to show you somewhere over the rainbow not over here how about over here yeah so you can see the difference between his and mine and I have changed this one, this one, this one, this one. Haven't gotten to this one yet, uh, mainly because I just need to... Uh, for these, it was easy. It was just copying um, the oak. Actually, I think I did spruce first. It was copying spruce and changing it to a green, a better green in my opinion. Um, it's, a, it's not as... Uh, it doesn't have that blue portion in it. There's like a blue portion. Um, this is a more... It's closer to the normal Minecraft warm brown, but it's not quite as blue as what we had before as well. Um, and then this is a big change. This is our oak trap door. And I want your opinion on this because I can't decide between the keeping the old one, keeping this one, or uh, let's see, I think I changed the acacia trap door. Or if you guys like this. Now, I don't like what the wood doesn't go with our oak at all. I would change that. But what this is, is it. I personally don't like this near as much. But it is a more of a iron. It's like a mixture between the. Uh, spruce and the oak to make it a little different but also have this whole feeling um, and personally I don't like it as much I just did this because to show that you can like still make it feel almost like it's a solid 
um, block because you put strip behind it and you like can't tear, tell too much. But this is what it looks like in person. Well, of course, you've already seen it in person, but like in uh, a, a build style and it doesn't it, it it I don't know. I'm still debating on it because I I like what it looks like and I think it's different and it keeps that like windowy feel but I can't decide if I truly like it or not um, because I based it a lot off of how the spruce looks um, with the verticality um, <laughs> and this is Jermsey's uh, as well it's just I added the iron I thought the iron was perfectly fine um, and so I, I kind of like that. Um, this is different in the sense that typically I think it's one more pixel out. Um, so it's a little wider and this is wider. This is like four, typically four pixels. Uh, this is four, four pixels. I don't know. It's I, the, the window's smaller um, is what I'm getting at. But actually I'm going to get rid of those because that's going to drive me nuts. Um, and uh, yeah, so I also changed the... Uh, spruce door um, to Jermsey's uh, style of spruce door because I thought it just was a cleaner version of Minecraft's um, and that's just I don't know I just liked his more personally I just thought it was better um, and so changed it doesn't really change the feel of it very much just makes it a little bit cleaner um, and it doesn't go quite as well um, with this but I don't think that's that bad um, this is also a um, new door texture uh, I really didn't like our birch one so I think this is perfectly fine the more controversial one is the oak door um, and then yeah spruce texture has changed uh, there are now four variations in all four all wood types except for the birch and the acacia because I just haven't gotten to those. So four variations in that. This is his uh, acacia door, which I got to say looks a lot like what ours looked like. So I don't know if I actually like inspired him or if we just found the same looking type of door. I don't know. But the color is not the same. I will change the color to match. Um, but his is just more fleshed out. The one that I made actually was pretty freaking quick. I think I made that in like, I don't like seven minutes or something like that. That was pretty exact number. It was probably more like 15 minutes or 20 minutes or something like that. But it was really, really quick, um, compared to, uh, like these planks I spent a good amount of time on, um, but yeah, and then this is a big change too. So now finally our jungle door matches our jungle wood. And I think it's really nice being a this, but green. I think it's really nice. I personally really like it. Um, and I really like this color. Um, I pulled this uh, color from Jermsey's pack, but I made it a little lighter, uh, just a touch lighter because I thought his pack is, is very, um, I don't want to say dark in like a bad manner. Um, it, it's just a, a darker texture pack. I don't know, it, like it's not bad, but it's just a darker texture pack. And I wanted to brighten it up just a little bit. Um, and then dark oak. I changed, uh, he, I'm pretty sure he just kind of cleaned up the, the dark oak uh, door and made the hinges and stuff silver. Personally, I really like that comparatively. Uh, I think it's just way better that way um yeah and then dark oak wood is very similar to everything else um really nice i personally really like it and of course i also changed the acacia log so it matches this but it's now acacia colored and i like it i think it looks good i am quite a fan with basically everything that i have changed thus far um let's see what else have we changed oh path block there's two variations of path block currently you've got this and then this this is closer to what the normal path block looks like that or it is the normal path block i can't really remember um but i added this let's see if we can find a better um that probably was like the best solution oh no right here so it's it's more textured um 
than the original path block. And I like this more, I think, because it's got a little bit more dirt feeling, but it's still the path block color. And so that was, it, it's uh, Germsy's dirt texture, I think, but then I overlaid the path block to make it the path block color. Um, and I think that turned out really nice. See, it like goes well still with the texture here. I think it looks nice. Uh, this is a huge change, and these are changes too. Um, these I just pulled straight from Jeremy's uh, pack. Variation in wheat, and they are now just a touch taller than one block. I think that's nice. I think it looks good. Uh, these these are very different, totally different models, um, and I like it. It's a little bit out of the normal Minecraft realm i feel like but it's not bad and we don't use these too much so i don't think this is bad i really like the leafy texture that's kind of just randomly throughout i think they're really nice in that manner um so added that as well what else what else have we changed oh and a site there you are so we've got um a couple variations and you can tell just by looking at them. So you've got regular andesite, and then there's these two. Now this one I need to alter. So this is cobblestone. This one and this one go better together because this is uh, smoother. I think I need to enhance the color just a touch. Um, the thing with uh, the andesite and cobblestone and stuff, like those variations, I'm gonna try and keep them as vanilla as possible. Like cobblestone doesn't have a variation in it currently. Um, and I'm going to try and keep them very, very, um, very Minecraft feeling. Um, so I don't want to stray away from this, but I, and I don't want to stray away from like this coloration. So I took cobblestone and I overlaid it with andesite to give it that andesite color. And now I'm currently just playing with how, um, deep to make the little crevices and stuff because cobblestone pretty pretty bubbly looking uh andesite very flat looking as it's not flat but you get what i mean so just finding that good balance and so currently there's three textures uh i think what i'm gonna do is make maybe have four textures i might get rid of this one and make bump this darkness up just a touch just a little bit uh, and then make two more textures to be thrown throughout um, this uh, just to make it so it's a little nicer. And then I think I'm going to make brick um, like these. And so you'll have, uh, it'll be, it'll basically be like, I don't know, it's kind of difficult because I don't want to like stray far away from what vanilla Minecraft looks like. But then I also want to use all the blocks, and I just don't ever use this block. <coughs> Ugh, excuse me. I just don't ever use this block. And so I thought maybe doing a change here is not bad. We're going to keep the texture. Um, it's basically just be like making the bricks, but out of andesite, and then making the bricks out of this, and making the bricks out of this. Ooh, broke it. Um, and so it'll all still have the texture. It's just instead of just blocks, there'll be bricks. Uh, it's, it's essentially what I'm going to be going for. Oh, and trap doors, uh, jungle wood and strip jungle wood. Now, like all the jungle woods match. Um, so you can build to your heart's content with those and they match really well now. Um, so they're the green and stuff trap doors. <clears throat> this is, um, pretty sure this is just these like three right here are straight oh and this the log these except for these are all these are pulled from Jeremy's pack just because uh they go really well and i i really like them so i thought i'd pull those and they look really good i really like what they look like i think all of the wood textures now go really nicely together and i especially i basically what i did to spruce to make it look nice is i made it a little richer color and I think that has really, really helped it. Um, and yeah, it, it, it's just really helped it. And I so I enriched the color a bit on our spruce trap doors so they match. And I'm just, I'm just really happy with uh, 
how some of those oh leaves leaves are a big change so i added germsy's leaves because there's a lot of variations and i missed the like custom leaves oh and grass grass is totally like has all the i pretty i don't know if he pulled them straight from b-dubs but there's b-dubs used to have like 20 different types of grass and now there's like 20 different types of grass again so that's nice you'll be able to see variation in the grass and all that jazz uh what else uh now there's the little like cherries or apples um in the dark oak uh, leaves again just to make dark oak leaves you know something that's interesting uh i changed poppies to germsies red poppy um there's three variations i believe of these and i hate the poppy so it's a welcome change oh this is what this looks like um with this trapdoor texture i personally don't think it looks that bad um but then again you may dislike it and if you dislike it hey perfectly fine going back to the drawing board with that and trying to come up with something that we all can enjoy um i was just the reason i was changing the trap door was because i was kind of getting bored um because i need i wanted to change it so it matched our wood texture and it just didn't so i decided to change it <laughs> uh let's see let me try and find anything else and then if not we can jump back in the world and kind of look at these textures for what they are in our builds for some reason um our <coughs> uh, glass blocks do not work currently uh the panes work but the glass blocks don't work and i'm not really sure why um so i'm gonna be going back through um and changing that uh, so in the next couple videos, there'll be a link in the description for the current pack, like this current pack, um, if you like what this one is like currently like, um, so you can download it. Uh, just know that this is a testing pack, and so some, some things may be slightly broken that I don't know, I haven't really found the fix for, uh, like these. For some reason, when you hold them, it's the purple and black squares. I have all the files, so I just kind of need to go through and change them up also here's the andesite i personally i don't really mind that this like is this sticks out i yeah i don't mind it let me know what you guys think about this like i don't mind that they're pretty different because the colors go well together like this all meshes together well so let me know let me know what your thoughts are on that because i personally don't think that looks that bad it just looks like another cobblestone variation but it's andesite so let me know what you thought your thoughts are on that all right, so we are back in the world. I have taken everything off of my person and put it into a chest because we are going to be going into creative mode for uh, a little bit of this episode because I currently have the texture back on and I wanted to just walk around, fly around, what have you, our current builds to look at what these textures look like um, because I think they look better. Uh, they look even better in, when we have actually like seen them. Um, in builds and stuff so i think that that's nice per like trapdoor this trapdoor i think looks way nicer just looking at it in this build style than seeing it for just it by itself personally i think that i i that's why i like it is because it still has that like window feel and you can still see through it and stuff but it is a little different all the wood textures look great um, personally trapdoor i changed uh, also added um germsy's uh dark oak trapdoor just so it would pretty much match exactly to what our um dark oak now is um i don't think i altered the color on it very much if at all um and yeah all the texture variation being in has added an even another level of detail just because you get all those textures uh, changing around potatoes i did change to uh, germsies is the normal potatoes but they are darker um kind of just a darker toned down version of potatoes which is great because potatoes are like neon um currently and they're ridiculous i don't understand why plant life like that is like super crazy um all the leaves look great <coughs> excuse me we are going to be keeping our birch uh personally love this birch texture um call me biased but what's in here oh we have a lot of stuff in there 
we should uh, make sure we remember that. Um, and let's see, is there anything else? Any andesite builds or anything? No, doesn't look like it. Uh, so let's keep on going. Keep on trucking. The reeds are nice. Sugarcane, I guess. They're called reeds um, in the texture pack, apparently. Um, or at least in Jeremy's. I don't know. Um, yeah, I personally, I like it all still feels very much like our world. Um, it's just a little nicer. Um, let's see here. So we've got this area. This is nice. Um, ah, here's a good way to look at the comparison between trapdoors. Like, very, very, pretty much the same colors. Um, personally, I like this more. Uh, feels more like a dark oak wood to me. Um, I have gone through and tried to make these look a little bit more like they make sense. This is okay. Um, but, yeah. So this is nice. I personally really like it. Oh, I got to show you this. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Ah, this looks nice. I really like the spruce color now. I like the variation and I like what I've done to change it because it still feels almost like that new Minecraft feel, but it's personally, I think, better it's less bubbly feeling it's still a little bubbly but it's less and i like that take a look at this still looks nice still looks good still looks like our build all the panes do work um, i don't know if i said that the glass blocks are the things that are being weird um let's go over let's go into spectator mode because we can zoom on over to our other area. What's it called? Town of Moor. Um, yeah, it'll be, I think it's gonna look just as nice. Um, oop, world is struggling to load. All right. Oop. All right, so let's go back into creative. So I have a cursor. Wheat field looks fantastic. Like, look at this. Oh, yes, this is nice. I like the tall wheat. This is nice. Path blocks looks good. I like the path block. Uh, nice having just occasional little texture variations. Very, very nice. Uh, these, I think, need to change to spruce, but we'll go back through and add that uh, eventually. Uh, in here is not going to change too much because this is this is not our texture. This is... Uh, what's this? Ooh. Oh my god. Uh, uh, ooh. E. <sighs> Forgot. Oh, I need to change that back. Um, I've been meaning to change that for the longest time, but nah, you know. You know how it goes. All right, we need to make sure that we don't have that. That's going to be floating there forever now, I bet. And even the wood texture change looks better in trees, I think. But, I mean, I might just be crazy. I might just be biased to all to no end, but I don't know. Personally, I think it looks better. Let's look at it. There's a, a fair amount of wood stuff in here. Yep, that looks nice. I like it. This area is what I'm mainly talking about because I tried to make it look like it was burnt and so you could have this fade. Yeah, yeah. I like what this looks like. I like now. See, now that I have a little variation in the walls, I don't get upset. Oh, added Jermsey's dirt texture as well. <laughs> Um, but I don't get near as bored looking at the, like, the walls, because if it's all oak or it's all whatever, I get bored. Um, we do definitely need to change Acacia to have variation and to match a little bit better. Um, so I will be working on that because this is, to me, obvious that they have not been changed and they stick out. But this still looks good. I still like what the dock looks like, um, even with the trapdoor change. Honestly, I think it goes better a bit because the wood matches now um, comparatively. Um, that was an odd way to enunciate comparatively. <laughs> um, let's see here. This looks nice. I like this. Let's go into here in the town hall area. And this is kind of why I want to also change this. 
up to make it a little nicer because, oh, you didn't see that. You didn't see that at all. Um, just because it needed, I think it needs changed personally. Um, I don't mind this that much. It's just I hate how abrupt this is. Like, I don't know. I don't like it. Let's go in here. What does this look like? Yeah, I like it. This is ending up kind of just being a tour around sort of thing. But, you know, that's not bad. Um, I have one more thing to show you. So this we can count as looking good. And we still have work to do here. We still have like this whole area to do. I'm just going to time set day and then game uh, game rule do daylight cycle false. Very good. Oh, we have cows there. Good. I didn't remember that. Acacia doesn't go as well because it's brighter. And that's something I need to take into consideration. I think I need to dim that down. Now that I see this like this and I know this goes better than it actually does, it goes well with cobblestone though. I mean, oop, look at this. Uh, okay, let's do it over here because it's just easier. Uh, uh, let's add it right here. Like, look at that. That's nice. I think that's why I changed it. So we'll, uh, yeah, deal with that. But overall, I think this looks nice. I like it. Um, so I have one final thing. Let me jump all the way back over there, and I will uh, pick up there, and we will probably end the episode. This is going to be just a texture pack episode, I think. So I'll see you guys back over in the gypsy camp. All right, we are back over here, still in creative, but that's okay because we have one. I have one other thing to show you that is uh, some of you may have been looking forward to that uh color build that I had an idea for, but I am really inspired for this area. Like I have an idea. It's not a terribly big idea, I don't think. Um, and it, yeah, I just think a small town centered around this and it's, it's simple builds. It's not like crazy involved. It's not anything like we'll build a couple together and then I can just like hammer out some and I think it'll be fun um, but I'm thinking a tower on top of this of some sort uh, sort of a maybe a wizardy tower I don't know and then a road that like wraps around or is carved out of the uh, wall here um, and this is where I wanted yes there's a build down there we'll get to that um, this is where I wanted to ask you a question what do you guys think about creative building um, with how this program I'm in currently with training, the grind work, uh, is hard to do hard to find time for. So I wanted to ask you guys what your thoughts are. Um, do you like creative building? Are you okay with it? Um, I don't want to build entirely in creative. I'm thinking more just like the monotonous, hard to deal with, uh, hard to not hard to do in survival but annoying to do in survival so like the winding pathway all the way up i think could be either way be good or like it, it, we could do it either way totally uh, like i'm leaving it up to you guys if creative mode is something you'd be okay with uh, occasionally doing i don't want to do it all the time because it'll ruin this world for me honestly but <clears throat> i don't think doing some creative mode during high like stress weeks where I don't have a ton of time and I can just like knock out something within an hour or something. I think that is not a bad use of our time. I don't think that that's going to hurt us in any way and we'll get to make really cool things. Um, and you know, we can have some sort of like, I don't know. I, it, it's, it, it's just an idea. Um, cause it, it was mentioned by, I think, uh, Clados, I think you mentioned it in the comments in the last video or two videos ago or something. Um, and I've been thinking about it and I wanted to ask everyone about this. Um, so since this is a talky sort of texture packy sort of future looking sort of episode, just wanted to bring that up. Um, so the build style I thought about doing down here is a very simple house. And this is why the andesite has been changed. So I can have 
random little andesite patches all throughout here and this so it all goes together well and kind of be like an old um not used town um now i did i built this in creative just to get the idea across um it's not the full building obviously um but just to give you an idea as to just the simple type of building it'd just be like a small town that is very centralized just around this pillar just totally circular around this pillar and that's really all it is um, nothing too big it doesn't even need honestly to be a full full circle it could just be like i was imagining like a pathway would be starting here and that's where the wind would start and it would wind all the way up and it's really just like the wizard and some like a wizard tower is what i was thinking or something something some sort of tower maybe a small castle or keep or something up there and then a small town very similar to if you remember if you've watched b-dubs um he has a particular town that i'm thinking of that is this is also kind of strange like it's got a hole right here it's very weird um he's got a small like mountain keep thing and that's kind of the idea i was thinking that this would be a cool little mountain keep or tower or i don't know um, and then have a small town that it governs over. Something small, something fun to do, um, very different than anything we've done currently, very like building based instead of in the ground or caravan. Um, we haven't really done anything that's like that. Um, so that's kind of where I was, I'm heading. Um, this, these buildings and stuff would be totally creative. It's mainly just like the pathway. And if the keep is big, or we have the idea of it being big, maybe planning it out, purely doing like the skeleton of it in creative to get a good plan. Cause it is hard to plan things. Um, it's really monotonous and annoying to deal with planning things out um, in, survival because you can't get a good look at thing look at things and so being able to fly around and do this would be very helpful especially during high stress weeks so i've given you a lot to think about um so i wanted to just get all that off my chest um and let you all know about the texture pack changes you can get a download in the description below i will say again there are some quirks to it that are just kind of messed up um, that I need to go through and still finish. So by the episode after this one that you're watching should all be fixed and maybe some more texture changes. Let me know your thoughts on the texture changes and if you like them. And if you like the video, feel free to leave a like in real life. And if you uh, enjoy everything that we've done in this and you enjoy the texture pack and you enjoy just building in minecraft then feel free to subscribe join the little family we've got going here and i will see you guys in the next episode